What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Bullet Force video. I am not recording in my usual spot. I have a crappier camera, crappier internet because I am in a hotel right now at E3. And today, E3, I'm going today. Probably gonna vlog it, we'll see. But I gotta keep the grind up, wanna get the uploads out. So we're talking about the M4 because it's going to get buffed next update. And it's gonna get two buffs to it. First, let me kill this guy with it. There we go. I'm playing in silence right now. I've got no sound. This is so weird, this recording setup. So the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to have less camera shake. And let me show you what I mean by that. If I will deploy, my internet is poop right now. Okay, so watch, if I shoot, see the camera shake? That's going to be improved uh, so that there's not as much camera shake. So it's more, you know, you could be more accurate. The other thing is it's a five shot kill right now. It's gonna go to a four shot kill. Why is this happening? Because the noobs, they come in the game and they struggle. See all the hit markers? That felt like even more than five shots to me, unless I was just missing my shots. I don't know how many hit markers that was. I always scoped down with this weapon. So I think this is a much needed buff because right now it's one of the crappier weapons in the game. There was a time for the people who have played a long time early on that this thing was actually uh, pretty good at one point, it was, it was, but it was like too strong. It was like actually overpowered at one point and people started realizing it and playing with it. So it got nerfed and now it's just, it's just too weak. Oh, this map, the dark corners. See how the hit markers are? Some of that might be my internet. I don't know. Actually, actually, I think that guy was just AFK or something. That was weird. Let's come around the corner. Do I have enough in the magazine to kill this guy? Maybe. Nope, 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 nope. Don't pop around the corner. Let's go, let's go. There he is, there he is. All right, put on our UAV. So anyways, that's what's going on. Um, I have next to me two copies of Battlefield 1. Oh my gosh, look, he's in the corner. He's seriously camouflaged right there. That's how dark this map is in some spots. Somebody's trying to shoot me from behind. There he is. Dude, what the heck? He's like blending in. He's blending in. I got to get that camo. Holy crap. Uh, this guy is right here. Anyways, I have two copies of Battlefield 1 and one for Xbox, one for PS4. I don't play console. I don't have time to play console. I'm too busy making YouTube videos for mobile. And so I'm thinking about give, doing a giveaway right here. I've got two copies, brand new in the plastic. Let me know what you guys think about that. You know, a lot of people say that this game actually resembles Battlefield. The one issue with the giveaways that I'm having, um, like with the shirt giveaway I did, is people winning were like in foreign countries and it cost like a lot of money to ship to foreign countries from the US, but we'll see what we can do. Pretty exciting. So yeah, I'm currently at EA or E3. Um, right now it's EA Play for the creators and then that's gonna be open to the public and turn into E3, which you guys are probably more familiar with, which is just showcasing like a bunch of games. But the crazy thing is this is the first year that Electronic Arts which is one of the biggest developers in the world, they actually invited a bunch of mobile guys. And the crazy thing is, I'm one of the bigger guys that's here. I met one other mobile guy who has more subs than me, but most of them are like small guys. I don't know how they got invited. Most of them are like guys with like 10, 15,000 subs. So that's that's kind of um, interesting to me because I've been doing mobile for so long on the channel, and now like the devs and uh, the community is starting to actually respect mobile a little bit, where mobile was used to be like the, the armpit, like the laughing stock of everything. Like nobody took us seriously because we play on our phones. Well, people started to realize phones are getting better. The processing power, oh, this, guy's not, this guy needs to die. Dude, hit markers for days. What the heck? Why didn't I kill that guy? Dude, come down from there. How did he get over there? I have no idea. Where is he? I really want to kill that guy. Dude, hit markers for days with this gun. It might be my internet. Yeah, it's gotta be my internet. I can't kill anybody. All right, I'm gonna have to hop out and get into a new match. No, I just killed that guy. Some of this is my internet. I don't think the weapon is that bad. I gotta get that guy on the rooftop. I gotta get that guy. All right, let's try it. Yeah, I think it's, it might be my hotel internet. Or you guys tell me, is the gun really this bad? I haven't played with it in so long. Like, that's way more than five hit markers. That's for sure. I'm getting a ton. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's my internet. Let's check my ping. Yeah, my ping is like 700. I'm surprised I haven't gotten kicked right now. But we gotta get this video out. Uh, what other updates? Um, so also, it's, it's going to be, and this is gonna be exciting, this is probably what I should have started with in the video is, I believe, not, not fully confirmed, but I know it's being worked on, that there's gonna be a sniper event, a sniper only event next update, which will be really, really cool. I would love to see something like that, where you have to play with sniper only, and you go up against other sniper players. There's gonna be like a semi-auto sniper as well. Um, you know, there's a semi-auto sniper in um, Critical Ops. More people actually use the one-shot bolt-action sniper, so I won't be too worried about that because I believe the semi-auto sniper is going to be two shots to kill. So if you're 
You are glitched. Fixing. Dude, what the heck does this even mean? What does this mean? This must this this is what some of you struggle with who have bad internet. I I, I believe it's my Okay, my ping must have been so high. I'm surprised I haven't been kicked from this match. I don't know if I'm just playing poorly or if it's the internet here in the hotel, but I really, let's just try and get the win. Let's just try and close things out. We're at 23. Um, anyways, the semi-auto sniper, like I feel like if you're if you're accurate, like with the M200, um, you're going to be able to wreck. Like accurate snipers, like one shot kill is everything, right? Especially if you're going sniper v sniper. So I'm not too worried about the semi-auto. I don't think it's going to be too overpowered at two shot kill. I think it will be okay. That's just my opinion. And we're going round and round we go. Dude, this, this, they need to add some lights on this map. It's confusing. This guy's up here. How are people getting up on these ledges and stuff? I swear, they're just hiding in the grass. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, so that uh, sniper event. Um, and then also with that, uh, yeah, the, the semi-auto sniper. Um, the weapons, uh, the loadouts are getting uh, revamped. So you know how you have to kind of like scroll and scroll. Well, now it's going to be like most expensive weapons or least expensive to most expensive weapons. So when you scroll through, I think it'll just be a little easier to find weapons because the more weapons that are added, you know what I mean? It gets kind of confusing. Like, Respawnables has like 150 weapons. Like, you just scroll for days. Just scroll, scroll, scroll. Can I get this kill? Oh, gosh. Come on. Dude, one, all he needed was one more little love tap. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start throwing Star because I just want to end it. I just want to end it. All right, 30 and 13, which ain't bad for the hotel internet. My new setup, hope you guys like it. This is just temporary, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.